And we're live. Welcome to the 35th Sprint Review Call for the Common Stack. Uh, this is going to be a good one. I'm very excited to have you all here. Uh, let's just dive right into it. There's there's so much to talk about. Oh, I'm going to have to share my notes first before I talk about the AMA. Uh, so the AMA for uh, March was focused on our themes. Uh, Ivy and the Com and Yanesi and the Comms team have come around to these themes every month, which is really fun. So this month it was the theme was inclusion, and so we did an AMA on inclusion culture and public goods, and it was really good. Uh, Wonka and Garrett and uh, and um, uh, Anna Lee from uh, Herdow came, and really we dropped some knowledge bombs on inclusion and like the the challenge of holding strong boundaries while also being inclusive and all sorts of interesting things that you definitely want to catch if you haven't seen it already also the big news on the token engineering front and and for commons in general is this evolution of the secondary market so uh for the, most of this time the the primary market the augmented bonding curve has been the main way to get tec tokens and that's great for starting out but eventually we need to build liquidity in secondary markets as well so that the primary market acts as more of an arbitrage opportunity for the secondary market and the secondary market comes in because right now it's like oh man these tributes they feel like fees and i don't want to pay them right but if you can just go buy uh, in the secondary market with no fees, and then when the secondary market actually goes above the threshold of the entry or exit tributes, then uh, then that triggers the primary market to be the cheapest route to buy the tokens. And so we had a big token swap with Give, uh, with the Giveth community, where uh, we spent we sent uh, twenty we sent uh, yeah twenty thousand dollars worth of TEC tokens to the Giveth uh, community, and the Giveth community sent. $20,000 worth of give tokens. Uh, and now both communities are holding uh, liquidity pool tokens that give the TEC uh, token a uh, huge secondary market liquidity. We basically 7x the liquidity. Uh, you can see here with $73,000 of give TEC liquidity. And I'm sure more to come with the laser tag multi sig. Uh, but with that, I'll pass it to Tam uh, to talk about Sprint 35. Cool. So Ivy is on vacation this week, and that's not why she's not here. Uh, so I get to announce uh, Sprint 35 is named Carry the Ball, and I get to carry the ball for Ivy. Uh, so the we have some big news. We just launched, hold on, let me share my screen too. All right, this is when we have to remember how to share our screen in Zoom. Hope I'm doing it right. Uh, so the Common Stack has just uh, announced that we're going to announce the Commons Prize. So as a precursor to our announcement, we are um, hoping to get some interest for communities that um, people would like to nominate uh, to be the, the next Commons that the Common Stack helps as a community. So we are going to be helping a community launch a Commons. Um, we helped the TEC or partnered with the TEC in the, in the launching of the Token Engineering Commons. And Griff just talked a little bit about that. And it's time to help another community launch a Commons. Um, the signaling will be open for probably another two or three weeks. Uh, and then we will actually um, launch the, the nomination form where anyone would be able to nominate a um, a community, a group, an industry, any any organization or group of people that you think would benefit or cause that you think would benefit from having a commons to support their mission. Um, so stay tuned for that soon. Um, there's some news from the TEC. So an update from the stewards working group. We now have Nate as a co-steward in the stewards working group, and he's just about the best steward anyone can ask for. And uh, Mount Manu has been killing it as the working group coordination lead. Uh, he really hit the ground running his first week and has been tremendous at keeping the sprint board updated so that everyone in the community knows what's happening in each of our different working groups. Uh, the Token Engineering Academy, Token Engineering Commons Introduction to Token Engineering Monthly Meeting will be happening on April 1st, so next week-ish. <laughs> So uh, please uh, uh, hop into that call if you want to understand more about token engineering from a, from a broad level. 
Uh, and I want to say, oh, so yeah, here's the Commons Prize. So sorry, did I not show that? Yeah, so this was the tweet for the Commons Prize. This is the actual form. Um, so it's just really a very basic form with very little information, uh, the idea about the community and um, some, more, some more details about um, how the community is ready to, uh, to launch a comp or uh, is prepared to commit to launching a Commons. Um, but it's not an actual submission form that's coming soon. And the Stewards Council uh, is a discussion group that the stewards have every other week in the uh, Token Engineering Commons. And um, these last two ones were really, you know, it's interesting because the, the topics that come up for discussion are things that feel maybe like they're not quite um, uh, clear yet. There might be some controversy around them or divergence of opinions and we're looking to like find alignment. And uh, the last two ones were really interesting. One was around how to use the uh, the initial buy of 118,000 TEC tokens, about 120,000 TEC tokens, whether we use it for uh, liquidity for the TEC, uh, as Griff has mentioned, we did <laughs> successfully, and what are the purposes we could use it for, what are the partnerships we could use it for, and then how to manage the pool. Do we want humans um, who are infallible being responsible for the multi-sig or the automated agent of the DAO itself. So it was a really interesting discussion. Uh, last week's council, yes, or this week's council, uh, Livia brought up a conversation about um, squad DAOs and, um, and I let her give an update on that. Uh, when she speaks now, I'll pass it to Livia. Thank you, Tim. I'll start sharing about um, the last proposal we passed on Snapshot, also on TC space. I hope I'm sharing the right screen. Oh yeah, here. So Gitcoin donations, what should we do with them? Um, during the cultural build, we had a grant on a Gitcoin for the TC, and we had over 13K from uh, donations settings on Griff controlled wallet. So what should we do with them? We had a few options and uh, the winner option was converted to wrapped X die and send it to a common pool. Even though the most exciting option was in Basel and party in Barcelona, because what, what an amazing crew would that be? <laughs> Uh, but that sounds reasonable, so we'll convert it to Reptex Dai and send it to the common pool, and that can benefit token engineering projects. And also on this uh, governance aspect, we've been discussing accountability measures and how to propose that culturally, how to ensure that uh, proposals that are passing are sharing their progress with the community and uh, that there is space to provide feedback. And then we realized there was a big missing piece that was adding a metric to the proposal template. So when people submit a proposal, they tell how they would like to be uh, held accountable. So what the success looks like. So we added this um, here to the template for everyone to describe a criteria that should be met to call this proposal done. And, and then I'm restructuring a lot of the forum to uh, I realized it was outdated and governance can be confusing like that. So soon it will be way uh, smoother to navigate. And in the reward system side, uh, Christopher can't be here today, but I would give the updates for him. So we have a new domain, uh, praise.tecommons.org. And you can type that every time you want to access the praise dashboard. You can see all the praise you received uh, if you're a quantifier, which it should be because it's so much fun, uh, you would be assigned a period here and um, and you can start quantifying. There's none open now because we just closed the third round of quantification and uh, we're one month uh, closer to our uh, present time now. So I can't show how the quantification looks like. But also we had an amazing demo from Nugget that it's working on, uh, actually not a demo, but the first run, run of the analysis of the first praise round that we quantified. So here, 
Here you can see, I'm not gonna get too much into it, but here you can see the distribution. So there is uh, a few people that were on the top, a lot of people that are in the middle and a long tail. And this is expected for the amount of activity we have in the community. And hopefully uh, this long tail can start coming up more. And I think this analysis will help a lot for us to understand engagement and um, yeah, how the contributions are interacting with each other. So this is a graph that shows who are all the praise givers and on the other side, praise receivers. And there's these two uh, big red ones that are Ivy and Mao Manu. They've been transcribing the praise. So that's why they have uh, the praise that we give in, in calls. That's why they are big there. But we are working on a solution for that. It's on the pipeline for this next uh, round. So starting this week, uh, we'll look into praising on behalf of someone. And that's a feature we're adding. And yeah, we also had a really great stewards council that Tam was talking about. And just to start this very serious conversation, we had a question of how do you take a bath in food? Which food would, would, would it be? So maybe you can uh, use that as a food for thought. Uh, while you think about how uh, the boundaries of the TEC relate in terms of squad DAOs and um, other communities that are wanting to get involved with the services that are being provided by, by these working groups and the TEC. How can they have their own revenue models? Is it how, how healthy it is these relationships of mission alignment and in the TEC with everything that it's being created uh, through the TEC. And also raising some questions of, okay, some products like Praise that we've been using a lot in the TEC, um, are they a TEC product or uh, they are a general magic product, with, which is the case. So Common Stack and General Magic have been supporting the development of Praise. And uh, there's a lot of, things for everyone to understand in relation to these boundaries. And with that, I'll pass to Ine. Yeah, yes, my turn. <laughs> and I have great news, of course, as always. <laughs> so the first one is we started the process uh, for our trusted members to renew. So some of our members already received a, an, an email, a special email um, saying, hey, it's time, it is time to renew your membership. And you might wonder why you should uh, renew your trusted seed membership. And there are a lot of reasons for doing that. You will have access to participate in upcoming uh, commons hatches. You can decide uh, which community will receive the commons prize that Tam um, explained. You will um, receive benefits uh, from our legal shield. You will participate in a lot of things very interesting. You will receive uh, interesting airdrops for our partners and so on. You, you have a lot of uh, things to consider to be a trusted member. <laughs> and speaking about that, some stats about our uh, members. We received uh, since the last during this sprint six more applications, two more activations, and we are now 345 active members, and so on. <laughs> so we didn't mention it, but in our last sprint, we did a praise plant, and it was like almost eight hours quantifying praise. <laughs> we we want that praise system in the commons stack, yeah, we need it. But yeah, it was a great, great uh, uh, praise quant, uh, uh, yeah, journey. Uh, we praise Ashley Sir and Gustavo for being there uh, with us, quantifying the almost 4,000 praises. <laughs> it was crazy, yes. Um, speaking about uh, tasks that I, I have been taking on in, in the common side. We had this great uh, inclusion month theme and we created a lot of uh, 
content pieces around it. Some of them were uh, like a special quotes from our members in the ecosystem. We asked them uh, what, uh, what's the meaning for them uh, about the inclusion and, and the, in the public goods space. And they answered us and we're um, tweeting the, that information in our uh, Twitter. <laughs> And another thing we uh, communicate to was uh, the Gitcoin grants. Um, it officially wrapped up, and we like to offer our appreciation to everyone who donates to Commons Stack Ecosystem projects. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. And the last thing to talk about is about the Trusted Seed Project Showcase. It is going to be next week. Uh, on Wednesday, and it is going to, we, we're going to have Mercedes. She will present uh, Eth Caracas. I'm from Caracas. <laughs> so she will present the, her project and yeah, we're, you know, looking forward for it. <laughs> and with it, I pass it to Osama. Thanks, Jeannie. Uh, yeah. Uh, so during this month, uh, we have worked on Twitter content. Uh, we are also doing our inclusion month campaign on Twitter. Um, and we have posted around different DAOs, uh, which are basically focused on um, promoting uh, inclusive culture in public goods. Uh, thank you. Secondly, uh, during this sprint, uh, we have worked on description and review of uh, our TS Spotlight. So it's uh, live now. Uh, we invited uh, Michel Bavans from uh, P2B Foundation, and he shared he shared his vision and his uh, early life, and uh, you know his vision of creating P2P organization. So it was a great interview. Uh, make sure you guys check it out. It's live on our uh, YouTube. Uh, uh, secondly, uh, we have worked on the clips of different talks. Uh, um, happened at uh, the Taoist and at Dermer. Uh, so these are also live on both Twitter and YouTube. And uh, yeah, uh, with that, I will pass it to Thiago. Thank you, Zama. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, so I'll start with ETH Rio. So I cannot account for the amount of people we met there. It was so awesome. I mean, it uh, was great to meet a lot of people. Um, some highlights I can bring you is like uh, so many interesting companies, so many interesting uh, ideas we share with people. And uh, especially um, for my case, actually, I cannot talk for Maria or Heather, but um, the Moss, which is a company in Brazil is working with carbon credit in eco credits. He, they were very interested about our governance systems because they are also trying to build the governance token. So uh, hopefully we'll get in touch soon, have a meeting to call to talk with them. And Solid World, which is another company here in Brazil, is working uh, to build a framework for uh, agriculture and governance. Um, yeah, and <laughs> so, so, so nice. We had so many talks with Jess, oh, with Heather and Maria as well. It was really a great time to meet all these people there. Um, about, uh, I also had during this sprint a sync with Jess. We talk about a lot in half an hour. Uh, so many interesting points and clarity from her about the governance and the partnership with uh, region foundation and region at work. Uh, I also had some conversations with land stewards here in Brazil, uh, which I know uh, from my background, from my previous activities, uh, to talk about how they are making decisions on their own, how they are dealing with co-ops co and uh, farmers associations, so to understand better what they are doing in the field that we can maybe uh, use to improve our process of uh, and our partnership with Regen Foundation. So with that, let's go for the praise, right? That's right, the praise wrap. 
Uh, so, you know, we always get to like the six of us here didn't do all this work. Let's just be real. You know, uh, there are a lot of people behind the scenes that didn't get to be on this call today that really make the common stack community thrive. So this is where we get to honor all of them. So obviously, first off, praise Anneli, Wonka and Garrett for being in our March AMA on inclusion, culture and public goods. Huge. Uh, it was a great conversation. Definitely watch that. Praise Maria for all the hard work pushing out the comms around the AMA and making the AMA happen, as well as praise to Ivy for also pushing out the comms. Praise Mitch for uh, making all the token swaps happen in the TEC and around the ecosystem. He's just a token swap ma maestro at this point. And all the multi-sig work was not simple to uh, to make all of those uh, token swaps happen. Praise Nate and Mount Manu for jumping into leadership roles in the TEC stewards group. Praise Pat, Zip, Peter, YGG, and Angela for pushing out so many cool educational opportunities in the TE space. Praise Ivy and Maria for all the help pushing out the Commons, the Commons uh, prize effort. And uh, praise Ivy, Maria, Jeff, Sargum, Chris, Coach B, and Raphael, and everyone else who's helping us on understanding the uh, legal aspects behind the Commons prize and the trusted seed and breaking all of these things apart. Uh, also praise Christopher and Max for the work uh, and Ivy for the work on the trusted seed uh, that didn't get so much mentioned during this call, but there was a lot of movement there. Uh, also praise Zeptimus for pushing the snapshot vote in the TC around all the funds I hold from Gitcoin and uh, praise also praise Zept for voting for the party in Barcelona uh, in that vote. Uh, also praise Ivy, Zeptimus, Ben's ratio of 13 for all the great work around the transparency audits. Praise Christopher for the overall coordination of the reward system process. I don't know how he keeps it all going in his mind. Praise to Mitch for recruiting and onboarding and cat herding. All of those people who sign up for the, the praise quants and making sure that they, they all uh, 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 do their duty. Uh, praise Matty G for rising out of the community and taking the lead dev role for the reward system and pushing out innovative solutions for all of the development issues in the reward system. Praise Vi Vi V for all the rock star, praise bot work, and all the other bots that he's working on. Praise Nebs and Grayel for all the back end work and other support and development. Praise Nuggin for building that rad dashboard almost single handedly with just the advisement of MS. Praise Christopher, Marco, Vi Vi V, Mitch, Matty G, Nebs, and Nuggin for being important General Magic members that are throwing down to build the reward system for the TEC. We forget that that's actually General Magic building all this stuff, uh, but it's, it's true. Uh, praise Nate, Chewy, Wonka, and YGG for contributing to Squad DAO's thinking and brainstorming solution solutions uh, during that awesome TC Stewards Council. Praise Acid Laser and Gustavo for uh, and, uh, and yeah for um, for almost eight hours of praise quant in the last sprint. Insane. Uh, Praise Maria and Ivy for all the amazing comms work around the AMA and Gitcoin grants. Praise Mercedes for presenting F Caracas next week. Praise Innovator for asking great questions about how C Stack token works and in our general channel and helping us onboard, uh, helping us with our onboarding process for the renewals uh, with Maria. Praise Ivy for helping uh, Osama out with the YouTube distri dis uh, distribution and praise Michelle Bowens for being the subject of our Trusted Seed Spotlight. Finally got that video up. Uh, praise Maria and Heather for the amazing time we spent together in Rio, uh, or Tiago spent with them in Rio. And praise Nico for repping Common Stack swag in Rio. Praise Heather and Algene for uh, supporting the creation of a beautiful space in, in Rio that everyone could enjoy. Praise Jess for uh, supporting the region partnership and bringing so much clarity in, into the mix. And also praise the whole region community for tweeting about this endowment program and uh, and creating the endowment program. And thank and praise to you for actually watching the whole sprint review. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope that you, you care about the Common Stack mission. And if you do, go out there and renew your trusted seat membership and if you know any comments that are looking to uh to become our next our next like major uh, to, who want to win the commons prize and get our support for the next nine months uh definitely sign up for the form the commons prize form is out uh there's some major exciting things happening this uh that happened this sprint so let's let's get going on it uh thank you all for watching and we'll see you again in two weeks